Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. We're going to talk about slow flushing toilets. And what happens is, many times, it's due not to the drain, it's due to a toilet that's 30 or 40 or more years old. The water, when it goes through the jets from around the rim of the toilet, the jets that are all underneath this rim have all filled with calcium. So they're smaller and they're not transferring water for a downward flow like we'd like it to be. So customer comes in my store and says their toilets, they need a new toilet, it's not flushing good. I go, tell you what, let's give it the bucket test first. We take a bucket of water and we throw it in the toilet. Slow at first and then faster. At the very end, really fast. Flushed fine. So, this toilet looks to me as though the drain is okay. The problem that it's not flushing is because the rim, it's an old toilet, is all full of calcium. We're going to take the toilet delimer, Roto Toilet Delimer, made here in Michigan. Matter of fact, in the Detroit area of Michigan. We're going to take this delimer, which is a blend of acids. Vinegar, acidic acid, isn't a bad toilet cleaner. This I happen to feel is a little stronger. The water in the bowl is lower than normal because we did the bucket test. When we pour the delimer in the overflow hole, that's called the standpipe, toilet overflow standpipe. We get the whole quart in there lickety split. The faster it goes in sometimes, the better, because it goes through all the rims. So now, you see it come from around the rim. You see a little crumb come here and there. Now, the acid is in there, eating away at that calcium, slowly opening up those jets. The little bit that got into the water of the tank isn't going to hurt anything. The important thing is most of it went down that overflow. So now as it's sitting here, it's cleaning the bowl. So this is a great time to grab your toilet brush and give the toilet a quick cleaning because this is the strongest toilet bowl cleaner you've ever had. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take and get some water. I want to raise the water level in this bowl back to its normal level which means I'm going to drive a little bit of this acid into the back of the toilet, into the trap. And then as it's all sitting here, we're going to be cleaning calcium inside the internal trap of the toilet, somewhere no one's ever going to see. We're going to decalcify it, and this toilet is going to breathe new life. I fill it with water, and I use my original Roto bottle to raise the water level to the normal water level of the tank. As I'm doing this, the acid's being driven back, and it's cleaning the backside of that trap we can't see. Here's my second refilled quart of putting water into this bowl. What's happening now is the acid is going down into the trap of the toilet, which happens to go uphill for about four inches, three and a half inches, and then it makes a U-turn and it goes down again. It's the top of that trap. The unseen area is where the calcium can form, and that's part of what doing the bucket trick tells me, that the trap was clean, we just aren't getting a downward push. So putting the delimer through here and letting it clean out the jets around the rim beats the heck out of trying to take a coat hanger and poke in holes because the coat hanger is not going to get in the raceway that we can't see that's in this rim. We're going to let it sit 25, 30 minutes. We're going to flush it. When we check our work, we're going to see that this toilet is going to work like it hasn't worked in about 10 years. Good, clean, downward force, and I just saved this toilet. People get a toilet, starts flushing bad for $5 for a treatment. Sometimes it takes two of these. We clean the jets on the outside of the toilet. We clean the trap inside the toilet at MrHardware.com.